Not a smooth talker, under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. Hey y'all, huh. welcome back to the channel and to the <laughs> Willow's you. Legacy <laughs> Challenge. My name is Misty and if you are new here, thanks so much for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. And if you hit that notification bell, it's going to alert you when new videos go live on the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in to the episode. So as you can see, we do have Rain here. She is open for business here, Ravens, and it is a small store. Currently right now, the only thing that we have is the one room that I have put the register and the little um, station where she's selling the baked goods that she made out of her own kitchen from her house. There's no bathroom. There's no kitchen here in the bakery. Like she is literally baking the things at home, putting them in her vehicle, coming to the shop. Like, right? She just, yeah, we're barely starting out. We only have this little building because we had to take out loans to do so. Um, and yeah, like she's, she's roughing it. Honestly, she's just roughing it. Um, so far, the business funds, we have 903 simoleons. We have a household funds of 1,113 simoleons. We do have quite a few people here today, but a couple of them are just loiters, which we will need to get rid of so that we can make some sales. But overall, there are lots of things that she does have here that she can sell. So hopefully we will make some good sales today and we will make back a little bit of money so that we can finish decorating this place. Now, mind you, don't forget, we do have all of the harvest schools at the house that bring in some money as well. So she is just going ahead and answering questions with the customers and trying to find out what it is that they're looking for, what their price range is. You know, she's like, hey, you know, what's what is it that you're looking for? Like, what's your budget? You know, is what's your flavor scheme like? Um, do you have any allergies? Is there anything that I can help you find? Um, you know, what is it that you're looking for exactly? Um, is there something special that I can make for you that's not maybe on the menu currently right now? Because there are things that I could possibly get for you. Um, you know, I can take orders, etc. Right? So, <clears throat> she's just trying to get to know her customers, let them get to know her, and hopefully we'll make a couple of sales. Now, anytime you have any solicitors or any loiters or any socializers in here, they tend to hog the conversation and we can't get a word, word in edgewise. And when that happens, we're not going to be able to make any sales. So we do have several of those in here currently, and that is why we're having trouble talking to our customers and getting them to purchase things. So Rain will eventually you'll notice that I'll be like, okay, it's time for you to go. Like you need to get out of here because honestly you're impeding the sales. We're not making any effort here. Like it's just not working out. And then she'll have them leave. Um, but she's just going to go ahead and come on over and try to do her best to answer any questions that they may have. Yeah. So she's made him leave. She's like, you need to go. And as soon as I made him leave, we made our first sale. So that's what I'm talking about. As soon as you get rid of the people that are causing a ruckus, then you start making sales. So you do have to keep an eye on that. And we will have to be diligent to make sure that we keep an eye on, on that. The people that just come in to cause trouble that aren't actual customers. You know, the ones that don't actually want to buy anything. They just want to waste my time and cause problems with our true customers.
And I don't want to keep the store open too, too long because, as we do know, Ray is at daycare. And so we can open for a little while, but then we'll close and we'll go home. We'll spend some time with Ray and do the things that we need to do at the house. And we can always come back and open up the shop later. Um, and eventually, whenever the shop gets to where it's at a better place, we can maybe hire or employees and things like that to help us manage. But as of right now, it's just not at a place where we're anywhere near being able to have that kind of um, stability. But Ray's little and she needs her mom. She can't be raised by the daycare, so we have to go home at some point. So Rain's just like, is there anything else that I can help you with? Any other questions that you'd like answered? I think that one girl in the pink, the pregnant lady, is probably the closest to purchasing something. And um, so we may end up having to get rid of some other loiters here. We have two more loiters that are in here kind of, <coughs> excuse me, hogging up the area. Oh, think well. And it really is like hard to judge because they kind of have a bar showing like they want to buy something, but then it just never goes up and they never really do anything. And then they just impede the sales of the other like true customers. So it's a really hard gauge to try to figure out who is just yeah wasting your time basically that poor pregnant lady and I was kind of hoping I could like close the deal, but they never did give me the option under the retail section where I was able to just close the deal. So, so see, she's just hogging the conversation and keeping me from making sales. So I'm like, okay, honestly, you're going to have to go. Please leave. You need to leave. And then once again, as soon as I have her leave, then we go start making sales again. All the ladies want to come look at the stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, those do look like good. Mm hmm. And so she's just going to answer a few more questions and then we're going to ring up this lady here. And then I believe there's one other that wants to be rung up. And then we will go ahead and close up shop and head on home to Ray. Sorry, Clay, we can't go on a date right this second. We are kind of in the middle of working. Oh, 
So she is extremely tired. So I think I'm going to go ahead, actually, and, yeah, take her home. And we'll close up shop and take her to the house and let her spend some time with Ray. And get her a sleep replacement so that she can spend some time with Ray because she is extremely exhausted. So let's go ahead and close off the shop. And we made 490 today. We sold two things. So for the first day, that's not too bad. It could have been better, but we'll get better at this. We will. So let's head her on home. All right, and we have made it back to the house here. And as you can see, Little Ray is just getting herself a bite to eat. She's having a little bit of pasta primavera. She's hungry. Mom's just taking a little bit of a nap, but I am going to go ahead and get her up, have her take her cold medicine, and then we're going to get her a sleep replacement so she can get the rest of her energy up because she didn't get her energy up nowhere near where she needed it to in order to be able to take care of Ray. But I do want her to spend some time with her little girl today. And then from there, once she spends some time with her and after we, um, you know, we can get some gardening done and things of that nature. <laughs> Why don't you actually also get yourself something to eat? Because you're hungry too, Rain. You guys can have some uh, supper together. And by the time you get over here, she's going to be done. Yeah. Oh, well. You guys can sit and talk together while you eat. Look how cute they are together. They're just so precious. So she's just going to say, well, how was your day at daycare? Did you learn lots of stuff? Did you have a good day? I had you on my mind all day long while I was at the bakery. So yeah, like all of this out here needs to be tended to. Because I don't want our plants to start dying. Because honestly, this is a good, um, like this brings in quite a bit of money. So we will definitely get her out here to take care of these plants. Once she's done eating and talking with Ray. For sure. She's like, so I was at daycare today. And I was learning how to write. And it's harder than you think, Mama. It is hard. She's like, I know it is, Ray. She's like, well, I think it should just go to the dump. I don't want to do it. It's trash. And she's like, well, you have to learn how to write, Ray. She's like, why? Why does anyone have to learn how to write? Can't we just use those tablet things? She's like, no, honey, you have to learn how to write. Everyone has to learn how to write. <laughs> okay, she has a, a green cloud coming off of her. So I'm just going to get her to go ahead and tend to the things she needs to tend to. I didn't realize that Ray was pretty nasty, but... We will get Rain to go outside, deal with the gardening, and then when she comes in, she can give Ray a bath and clean up around the house because that's something that also desperately needs to be done. So basically right now, um, she took a sleep replacement so that she can be in um, chore mode. That's basically what she's doing because she needs to pick and harvest all of the harvestables. She needs to clean all the dirty dishes up in the house and she needs to give her toddler a bath because she is green. Green clouds coming off of toddlers are typically not a good sign, but I mean, 
what do you do? You give him a bath. That's what you do. And that's what she's going to do. And then we'll just get all these plants uh, harvested and sell sold and we'll evolve them all and we'll make some money up here and then we should have a pretty decent <laughs> amount of money to decorate the shop with because that is my next goal is to decorate that shop up because we do need to get a kitchen in that place um we'll, we'll make a loan payment and um yeah but I want to get a kitchen built in there. That way she doesn't have to like cook everything here and then take everything over there. That makes sense. We can just cook everything there. And then we don't have to worry about carrying things back and forth and things going bad and things like that. Global. That is the goal. All right, let's finish up with these plants the and like go ahead Nebula. and give uh, Ray a bath. <laughs> She's like, yes, I need a bath. Can't you see the green coming off me, Mama? I can't give myself a bath. Too little. She's like, we were learning how to write at school, so I don't know. Bye. She's like, no, Mom, I can't. I'm too little. <laughs> She's like, Ray, I was just playing, honey. Alright, so she paid her daily credit loan. That's great news. And then when she's done with her bath, we'll go ahead and take her medication because she needs to take her blood pressure medicine. And then we will get her cleaning up all of the stuff around the house that is dirty, like dirt, all the dirty dishes because there are quite a few dirty dishes lying around. I mean, technically, I could do it, but I'm going to make her do it. She's like, thank you so much for my bath, Mom. I appreciate it. I'm so happy I'm going to dance. That's how happy it makes me that I'm clean. Look at this. Look at this dance I learned today. She's like, yep, that's beautiful, Ray. Absolutely beautiful, Ray. Okay, and she is just picking up around the house a little bit. And... Pipitao Felinus. <laughs> Benarla Deroy. Telling... <laughs> she, she's just telling Love Ray it. a little bit of a story. And they're just spending a Simple little bit of time together. Wogra. Chilni. Gishal. I'm not sure why she's facing her like Bruna. like why her back is to her it's weird but she's like mom I don't know that I believe that story you're supposed to tell me about princesses I am princess and yeah I want to learn about princesses and she's like you know what you know what I don't know about princesses princesses are scared of monsters even tickle monsters but oh, mommies protect them. Let's give hugs. And also, let's get a picture of that because that is the most precious thing of all time. She's so adorable with her mummy. Oh, look at her face. That's beautiful, that makeup that she did on herself. Mm, you literally just had a bath and now you look like that. But I mean, we... We love to see it. Yep, yep, we do. You want to play? Are you going to play together? She's like, are you going to get me? Learn a pee from Skuma. Wessa boo Muji Pichi Nevo Laba Camus Bantrip Shufflet Bellafoy Yeah So Ben Rachel Wabarani Cherie Rosa Kimo Hershita Look at her dance Oh my god 
So they're just gonna play. She's like, hey, remember that mon tickle monster that I told you about? Well. I'm gonna get her. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. <laughs> we have to save you. <laughs> oh, I love that animation. It's so cute. Alright, and just like that, she is off to daycare, and because she is off to daycare, we are actually going to go ahead and head back over to the bakery, because while she's at school, we go to work. So, while we're at the bakery today, we are going to be doing some um, redecorating, because we do have some money. So, we're just going to take this trash out, and grab the rest of this stuff to sell, and then head over to the bakery, and... From there, we are going to redecorate. So I will see you guys over there and we'll get it redecorated. See the snowball? And then I think after the redecoration of the um of the bakery basically it will be the end of the episode um, as it is getting kind of long so don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think of how the bakery is looking and i will see you guys in the next episode um so until then i'm gonna go ahead and fly for now and i will see you guys in the next one so bye ravens time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah.
the night But I can't get you off my mind Not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met you 